I'm going to be doing another book review today, and today I'm going to be reviewing Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rosh. So in Snow Like Ashes, we have four main kingdoms, which are the kingdoms of winter, spring, summer, and autumn. We also have four other kingdoms, which are the Cordell, Paisley, Yakum, and Ventrali. And what happens is, in the four main season kingdoms, I guess you could call it, the, um, the monarchs each have a little artifact of a sort that contains a bit of magic. And this magic helps the monarchs rule over their individual kingdoms and helps um, keep the kingdoms running smoothly. So it also gives the people in the kingdoms their sort of abilities. So for example, the Winter Kingdom, um, they would always focus on mining, so the monarch of the Winter Kingdom will give them extra strength and courage to go down into the caves and to mine and such situations like that. Unfortunately, what happens is that the Spring Kingdom overtakes the Winter Kingdom and only leaving eight survivors. So what happens is those eight survivors must find a way to get back the magic that was stolen from them by the Spring Kingdom so that they may be able to rebuild the Winter Kingdom again. Now one of the survivors, Mayra, she is best friend to the future king who was also one of the survivors, the prince of the Winter Kingdom, Mather, and she's also desperately in love with him, but she's also fiercely loyal to her people and to the cause of saving the kingdom. Now the biggest thing I would like to point out about this book is that it has such an intricate setting and storyline that you just can't help but get pulled in right from the beginning. It is so amazing. There are many books that I don't really get hooked on right from the start, but this is one of the very few books that I was immediately intrigued by from the very first sentence. Now this is just a fair warning, this review is probably going to be all compliments to Snow Like Ashes because this is honestly one of my favorite books right now, it is just amazing. Each of the citizens in the kingdoms have such amazing characteristics that pertain to their kingdoms that they live in and it's just amazing because I love the idea of like the the stark difference between each kingdom based off the season and it's just amazing and I really 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 like the idea it's such an amazing fantasy read and it's amazing I just love it the characters are amazing they're so characters are very deeply developed I don't know how else to say this but there's just they're just so real because you can tell all of their personalities all their different traits and characteristics and you just you just feel for each of them this book is really fast paced there's a lot of action and adventure and i just love it so much the love lines in this book are absolutely perfect they satisfy a fangirl very much or fanboy of course it's very intense it's Re really, really intense. It's just an amazing, like, girl saves the day kind of book. You know, the heroine, Mayra, she's just such, so brave and so courageous, and she would do anything to make sure that she gets in on the action so that she can help save the Winter Kingdom. You immediately get attached to her. Every time she does something right or, or she proves some of the other people wrong, you're just immediately rooting for her. And it's the kind of book that you just want to keep going on and on and on. And thankfully, based off the end, there is going to be a sequel, I believe. I mean, this fantasy world that Sarah Rosh sets up, it's just, it's so engaging. And you want to live in it. That's the kind of world that it is. Obviously, you don't want to live in the Spring Kingdom because it's like... Ugh. But I mean the other kingdoms of the whole world itself you want to be in this book Okay, small spoiler. So I'm gonna be leaving a picture somewhere on the screen So once that picture is gone, you know, they can come back But otherwise while the picture is there I would suggest turning down your volume or doing something else because there are some very intense spoilers I'm going to be mentioning right now. So Mira and Theron I ship it. 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 He is such a sweetheart and he's just so he's so brave and so strong and so loyal to Mira and he really really loves her. Not saying that Mather doesn't, of course, but I don't know. I just feel like he'll be better for Mira. He's very loyal to her and Mather, I don't know, by the end like 
it just seemed kind of iffy. I don't know. Something about the relationship definitely seemed off. Obviously, because guess what we found out? We found out that Mera was actually the queen of the Winter Kingdom, not Mather. Oh my gosh, mine blown. No one expected that. No one, no one saw it coming. No one thought it would happen. I mean, I guess because it's from her point of view, you could kind of think that it was gonna happen, but you wouldn't think it was gonna happen, even though you could think it was gonna happen. <sighs> of course that made sense. But I just love her, she was talking to her. The queen was talking to her in her head. It was her, it's her. Oh my God, no. What is that, why? Oh my gosh, it's so good! <sighs> okay, spoilers over. As you can see, I have nothing bad to say about this book. I'm giving this five stars. Absolutely, it's amazing. If you didn't read this yet, you absolutely should. It's one of my favorite books right now. I absolutely adore it. It is the perfect fantasy novel. Fantasy, adventure, magic, it's got everything. You'll like it, go pick it up. Please, please read it if you have not yet. So obviously, this was a really short review. I mean, I just really wanted to get my input on the book out there. So yeah, I will be leaving my Goodreads link down in the description box below. Um, that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to go pick up Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rosh. Please, it's amazing. You have to read it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Have a good day. Bye.